Hey everyone, Russell here from Greenfoot Energy Solutions and today I'm going to show you how to operate your Fujitsu ductless mini split heat pump. Heat pumps work by moving air over coils that have refrigerant in them. So outside here in this unit, there's no real operation other than you should make sure that there's no obstructions to the airflow over those coils. This means that sometimes in the winter after a large storm, you may have to get out and shovel the snow away to allow that air to circulate through the coils. Special note, if you do see ice and frost and snow buildup in the coil, that is completely normal. Don't try to chip or remove that ice that could damage the coils and void your warranty. Additionally, make sure that there's no obstructions in the condensate drain. This is the tube in which water or condensation from the inside head is removed to the outside environment. Having an obstruction or a blockage can back the water up into the home and lead to water damage. Let's head inside and I'll show you how to use the remote. Your indoor unit is controlled using this remote, so it's worth it to take some time to get to know the buttons and to ensure that you are familiar with all the functions so you can get the maximum heating and cooling out of your unit. The first thing you'll notice about the remote is its simplicity. The power button and temperature up and down buttons are located front and center. If you're leaving the home for an extended period of time, then you can simply press the minimum heat button and that will reduce the temperature to 10 degrees Celsius for the time that you need to be away. On the other hand, if you've been away for a long time and you'd like to come back and get the temperature to your set temperature as quickly as possible, you can press the powerful button. This will ensure that the maximum amount of power is used, the maximum fan speed, this will just get you to that temperature as quickly as possible. Let's turn the unit on by pressing the power button. Grip the sides of the remote and pull downwards to reveal more functionality in your remote. When you press the mode button, you'll cycle through the various modes. Auto, which is not really recommended for our climate since our shoulder seasons can see drastic swings in temperature and your unit could be heating and cooling all in the same day. We recommend that you choose either heating or cooling to get your desired temperature. Next is cool. That obviously cools down your space. Dry is used if you want to dehumidify the air. Next is fan that operates just as a normal floor fan or house fan that you have around. And lastly, heating. The economy button puts the unit in the lowest possible energy consumption state. This will change the temperature slowly and gradually to your set temperature. It will use minimum fan speeds and just conserve the most amount of energy as possible. Press the fan button to cycle through the various fan speeds and automatic. Below the fan is the swing button. You can press the swing button to continuously move the louvers and flaps both up and down. Press this button once or twice to cycle through one or both of those functions. The Fujitsu also has a low noise function for the outdoor unit. This just reduces the fan speed and makes sure that if you're outside, you can enjoy your activities out there. To the right, you'll see two set buttons that incrementally control the up and down movements of the air as well as the left and right. Again, if you want to continue a swing, just simply press the swing button. Below these buttons are additional functionality like sleep mode and timers. You can learn more about those by checking the owner's manual. Lastly, if you need to replace the battery, simply pull the cover off of the bottom and it will expose the two AAA batteries. Replace those batteries, reinstall the cover, and you will need to adjust the clock by pressing the clock adjust button. If you'd like to learn more about this or other energy efficient products and services that we offer, go ahead and check out our website to learn more. Or you can give us a call to speak to an energy advisor. And remember, start small, think big, and keep living the Greenfoot lifestyle.